Hi everyone, for those watching the video and who have not yet read the accompanying article, which you can find in the description, this video will showcase how to create a template sensor in Home Assistant to retrieve the precipitation probability for the next 10 hours. Previously, I already had something similar in place to retrieve the forecasted weather conditions for the next hour as soon as the washing machine starts. You can find the video's link in the description. It was a useful feature, but it was a little limited since only the next hour was taken into account. And you know, when you're doing laundry, the weather conditions for the next few hours are quite important. The current view in Home Assistant displays the final result using two different cards, the tile and chips. Are you ready to start? Here's what I've used to create this template sensor, the open weather map integration and the new service weather get forecast introduced by Home Assistant 2023-12. And this is the YAML code for the template sensor. One key aspect of this sensor is that it can be triggered by several events as automations generally do. For this specific scenario, I've configured the following triggers. As soon as Home Assistant starts every hour, every time the socket to which the washing machine is attached to gets powered on, To control the socket to which the washing machine is attached, I recommend using the Shelly Kubino Wave 1PM, which you can find on my website at the following link also provided in the video's description. When the template sensor is triggered, the action is to call the service weather Get Forecasts, which will provide the following data. The data provided by the weather.getforecast service is elaborated by the following YAML code to calculate the average probability of precipitation for the next 10 hours. Last but not least, I've also configured the template sensor to have its icon automatically change according to the sensor's value state. To conclude, this is the entity created by the sensor template that I reported above through the tile and chips cards. I'm still deciding which one to use and where to place it on my dashboard. You can type the code from the screen for free, but to help you save time and avoid making any mistakes, I have created a package for this so that you can set up everything super easily. You can download the pack for the price of a coffee through the coffee link in the description. In the meantime, you are supporting me to keep this channel alive. I truly hope you have found this video helpful. To stay ahead with the latest tips, tricks and in-depth guides, ensure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about my upcoming video tutorials. Thank you for being a valued part of my community.